Jsou tu i some experimentation. I have two almost identical asynchronous motors and a belt which fits on them. So I couldn't resist the temptation to try this. If I use one as a motor, could the other one work as a generator? If the motor was synchronous, it of course should, but it's a bit more tricky with an asynchronous motor. And there is basically nothing to excite it. There are no excitation coils, nor there are any magnets. Sometimes asynchronous motors are used as generators, but these are online generators, generators supplying power to mains. They are used typically in small power plants, like hydropower plants. I've actually seen it in operation when I visited the small old hydropower plant. It's in one of my videos. So an asynchronous motor definitely can supply power into mains when it's operated above its synchronous RPM. The slip is basically reverted. But could it generate as an offline generator? I've heard that it's possible with some parallel resonant capacitor. But I never tried it before. Of course, everybody wants to see it turning. It works. Does it generate any voltage on its own without any capacitor? It does actually produce one volt. And this is because of the residual magnetic field in the rotor. There is neither any magnet nor any excitation coil, but the iron is slightly magnetized, so it produces this small voltage, which is of course just a small fraction compared to its nominal 230 volts. Now let's try to measure the frequency, and it's producing about 48 hertz. And that's of course because this motor is asynchronous as well, and so it has some slip and it runs slightly below the synchronous RPM. It's not the slip of the belt, it's the magnetic slip of the motor, which reduces the frequency from 50 hertz to 48. The belt has teeth on it, so the belt is not slipping. And these have the same number of teeth. This is running as an asynchronous motor, and this basically as a generator, which is synchronous, but with a very weak magnetic field in the rotor. And I also noticed, when I tighten the belt, the frequency actually goes down a bit, because more friction actually slows the motor down. It's asynchronous and more load causes more slip in it. And loosening it, the frequency goes up. Now connecting a parallel capacitor. This is the four micro capacitor which came with the motor. And with the capacitor it's actually producing more voltage. 1.45 volts. And we'll try even more capacitance. Another four micro capacitor in parallel. Resulting in eight micro. And it goes to 2.1 volts. So the resonant capacitors actually increase the voltage. Let's try 16 micro, if it makes even more voltage. It actually went back down. If I add another 4, now it's 20 micro and it goes even lower. So increasing the capacitance only increases the voltage up to a certain point. And after this the voltage goes back down with more capacitance. The motor has two windings, so what if both windings get a capacitor? Each of them 4 micro. It's producing 1.8 volts and the other one 1.8 volts again. Still just a small fraction compared to the main voltage, 230 volts. I guess somebody has to be screaming, what if I give it a load? Let's use a 10 watt lamp and connect it to it. It actually pulls the voltage down. Now again both capacitors on the same winding and the lamp pulls it down. This doesn't seem to work as an offline generator. I was trying many different capacitor combinations, and the voltage maxes out at about 11 micro, and then it goes back down. I was thinking maybe it can excite itself using the residual magnetic field in the rotor, and then bring the voltage up using resonance until it hits the saturation of the core and somehow stops at the ballpark of mains voltage, working as some sort of a ferroresonant regulator. But it doesn't seem to work like this. Or at least not in this motor. Would if I momentarily connect this one to main as via diode? And this might be a bad idea, but let's try to magnetize it and see if it works as a generator better than. Just momentarily, not to overheat it, of course. Still just 1.5 volts without the capacitor. And 3 volts with the right capacitance, but still just a very low voltage and it goes down super easily under load. 
So it seems so far this asynchronous motor is not able to work as an offline generator. So that's it. It was just a stupid experiment which wasn't successful unfortunately, but even unsuccessful experiments are good because you can learn from them. And if you like my videos, please consider supporting this channel on Patreon, using the thanks button and subscribing. And big thanks to all of you who already support me, because this keeps this channel running.